What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get faction tokens the fastest way possible in the game. I've seen multiple videos showing off stuff like this and a lot of them are clickbait, not pointing names, so many tokens in this amount of minutes, so many tokens in this minute, so many blah 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 blah. But they're not good farms. They just found one farm and uploaded a video. So we actually did testing and found the best farm possible. And using this method, I got 1,000 tokens in two hours. You can even lower that time by probably almost 20 minutes. So basically the basis of it is farming lost sectors. That's what all the videos are about. But you want to find a good lost sector, one that has a bunch of the veins to shoot in a small area, and also a fast time to reload the area. So my friend Rubber, link in the description, found a video. Or found a video one way saying found a spot where you could get basically clear the entire room with six of them and be starting the next room restarting the room in roughly 40 to 50 seconds so yeah you're me right six tokens every 40 to 50 seconds and that's not a clickbait 40 to 50 seconds that's literally from the time you start the room to the time you're starting the room again as you'll see i even put a timer on the screen as you saw right there i'm at 900 I'm 957. Yeah, 957 tokens already. And now I only played for about an hour and a half at this point. So, you want to make your way to where I was. Come in here. Follow my path. There's six things in this room to shoot, and there's eight spawn locations. As long as you follow this path, you will see I show it about seven times. You'll see all of the locations. As long as you follow this path, you'll be fine. You'll see all of them, and you'll get them quickly. I showed off my... Uh, Loadout early on, I like to use Warlock because I'm playing Warlock with the Traverser Steps and the Energy Amalon Scout because it has lightweight. And also with Firefly, our explosive rounds, I mean, it two shots the things, the explosives. So, I actually will commentate what I'm doing. You want to make your way down here, make sure you're not stopping at any point. You want to be constantly running or else you're respawning, not where you want to. Anyways, once you're in here, you follow my path, you shoot. All six of them and on the last one you want to die and you want to die because it will respawn you back at the beginning in the other load zone right on the edge of the other load zone so you follow this path and depending on the, the spawns you have to like know in your brain figure out where you need to kill yourself it's going to be either that one I just shot or the one previous and there's Obviously, as you get better and learn it, you'll figure it out and you'll be running this in 40 seconds flat every single time. Sometimes the ads will get in the way, but you'll hit them eventually. If you notice, when I'm using the uh, transversive steps, my uh, energy weapon gets reloaded for itself also, so it's even more efficient. But what you can do is run the Better Devil's Hand Cannon, which is a primary weapon with uh, explosive rounds, which also two shots the explosives. As you see, we're two minutes in. I think we've already ran three entire rooms. So, it's very quick. And this uh, clip right here, like I said, this could be even faster because I think right here on this clip or one of the clips, I get the bad spawn, which means I basically uh, wasn't moving quickly enough through the uh, little hallways. Sometimes you spawn by the ramp, which is fine. You just turn around and go through the door real quick. But anyways, while the video is still running, I did the math on it. This, I did seven entire rooms from start to finish in four minutes and 38 seconds. And we do the math. I got 42 tokens. So that's nine tokens every minute. And also, let's see. Also 543 tokens an hour. Obviously this could be a little bit lower, but I'm saying if you actually get this down and farm, you'll get somewhere in the neighborhood of 450 to 550 tokens an hour. I will be making a video uh, probably either later tonight or tomorrow morning about where I actually show off opening all my FWC uh, engrams and whatnot. And if you're trying to get everything from a faction, I'd recommend probably getting 
uh, somewhere around 400 to 500 tokens. You'll probably get almost everything from that many tokens. After that, you'll just start getting duplicates. There is a chance that you might die sometimes if that uh, adds and enemies in this room go super aggro. That's fine, because you'll just respawn at the start. It's not really... It's a little bit of a time loss, but it's not that big a deal. Just keep going. And I think this is the last time, my last room right here, which I, from spawn to completing the room, is 30 seconds flat. There you go. And I put my inventory here and you can see I have 999 tokens which is the maximum tokens you can have in one stack and you can get multiple stacks. Thanks for watching guys. If you would, if you wouldn't mind, I'd appreciate if you went and checked out my Redeem News at 11 video I made this morning with my buddies. It's a series that we're trying to get Movie of the Week with and also become our like unique series that we can upload monthly or every other week. It's a pretty cool video, very funny, very unique. If you uh, wouldn't mind, I'd appreciate if you check it out. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.